Hello Aquarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Now Aquarius, because this is your general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So only take what resonates, apply it to your heart space, to your unique situation, and of course to your intuition. Whatever does not resonate, you know, it's just not part of your story. It just wouldn't make sense. Just toss it to the side, Aquarius. We definitely do not need it. So I'm here to simplify tarot for you. I'm going to get straight to the point, dive straight you know, into the messages for you, and also in hopes of gaining understanding, clarity, insight, and of course your confirmation, Aquarius. You see, your situation will be very unique and very personal um, for every Aquarius watching this, including cross watchers. Let's get straight into it. Let's dive straight in and we are, oh, I am, <laughs> I'm be focusing on the collective here for soulmates in separation. I really want to dig a lot more deeper here um, into their, your person's true thoughts and feelings. So it does not matter whether you have stopped you know, speaking to your person yesterday, last week, last month, last year, or even beyond that. Uh, we are doing a very deep energy check in here. And yeah, the focus will be Aquarius and your soulmate, soulmates in separation. Let's get some new insight, new information. Let's see. What is going on? So this is also, if you're curious to see what is happening now um, with your person, um, or perhaps you do want reconciliation, but um, like I said, I always say this every week, reconciliation can be different for everyone. It could be closure. Um, we have a highlighted message there for you. Could be the chance for forgiveness, for closure. So let's see. Oops, let's do that again. That was a bit sloppy. So before I look at the bottom of this deck, these are two cards. Now, um, these are highlighted messages, or I call them dominant messages. They do carry a lot of weight because uh, they may drive actually the rest of the reading about what's happening here. Obviously, it's a very important message here for you, Aquarius. What do we have? Wow, okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune. And you are in this um, card as well. We have um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So there is a sense of destiny here, a turn of events, but positive. We've got positive changes here. Mmm. Why? What's happening? Ah, oh, okay, the Six of Cups. Scorpio energy again. Okay, so oof, there's probably a reason why I felt a pull to do this reading then um, for you Aquarius, because it seems here that we have, perhaps you could say fate, destiny, your spirit team, whatever you want to call it, they are orchestrating something um, behind your back in a good way though. And it seems that perhaps this person will be coming back. This is my reconciliation card, um, where you and your person are feeling quite nostalgic here, thinking of the better times when you were together, you know, such as the first time you locked eyes or spoke or confessed each other's feelings, for example. Um, we have definitely a past life connection here, which is probably why we feel that pull, that it doesn't matter who you meet, Aquarius, um, and where you go, your thoughts, and it seems that your heart always goes back to this person, though. So it's like that pull that I always say defies logic and reason. So we definitely have a spiritual, uh, where well, we have a, a soul connection here as well. There could be children involved as well. You know, I'm talking about actual children, adult children, teenage children. Someone has children here. And that's obviously not for all of you. But I am seeing here that perhaps already from the get-go, Aquarius Spirit is saying that you are destined to um, reconcile with this person, though. Blast from the past, as um, people, you know, we say a lot. We have the Emperor. Hmm. Aries energy. All the kings wrapped up into one. This is the Divine Masculine. It seems that Aquarius, you're not going to have to do much. I feel you may be mirroring each other and feeling each other's energy, but I'm seeing here the emperor um, will be taking action though. And what type of action? Yeah, to reach out to you. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Mm, they could be offering you something quite solid. It's small though. Even though they're coming here as an emperor, it could be let's just meet face to face um, and you know let's just pick up where we left off. And why? Because we have the Two of Cups, the true card of love, Cancer energy. This is the ultimate match where even though you're probably not talking to each other and things, you know, don't seem great at the moment, um, it seems here that you are not giving up on each other spiritually and emotionally as well. So this is looking really nice, though. It seems that this is destined and, you know, the, the, the cups do represent months. So this can actually show a reconciliation possibly within two months as well. So what is the head of your reading here, Aquarius? What's going on? Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. So both of you are holding back. 
Absolutely. But I do see here that your person will reach out first because here they've got the key and there is the lock. So they're holding back because it could be nervous energy, um, a bit of anxiety here as well, or, you know, just falling into that victim mentality mode that, oh, if I reach out to Aquarius, they're probably going to say no, they're probably going to reject me probably too much time has passed as well. So, you know, it's almost like mental imprisonment. They're coming up with all these excuses and perhaps even listening to their ego, which is 100% not psychic, um, as to all the reasons why they cannot come forward. Um, but this is obviously going to change because this does carry a lot of pull. It does drive all the other, you know, all the other cards here as well. But I do see at the moment, yeah, both of you are holding back, not because you want to, um, don't because it's out of fear, especially for your person though. What else do we have? Oh, you got my favorite card. So they're going to get out of this. Yeah, they're going to take action. The sun here, a major for Leo. This is pure happiness, bliss, um, joy, the return of health here. Happy, healthy children. Literally, a very literal message is traveling to a hot sunny place together, um, especially if you are at a distance. But yeah, they're going to get out of this energy because it, it's pretty clear here, Aquarius, that you are each other's joy. You make each other happy. And I always say this, I don't care where this card falls. It's here, 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 wherever it falls. We're already seeing that this is going to be a happy outcome for you. There you are. Yeah, a happy outcome for you. Aquarius energy, King of Swords. So you could be dealing here with a fellow Aquarius. Could be somewhere very strong in their chart as well. This person here, you're going to be on the receiving end here of the truth. You also have a lot of your own truth um, to also, well, I could say to express, especially about your feelings. I'm, you know, the more cups I see, you know, the six of cups, two of cups here and the sun, you know, there is a lot of feelings here. It's backed up by love with good intentions. Um, but we've got the truth here, the absolute truth. That's what I love is that the king and the queen of swords equally, you know, they come and they give, you know, um, the truth. It's clear cut, um, brutally honest and blunt, direct to the point communication here. Fantastic. Six of pentacles, Taurus energy. All right. So it seems here that perhaps there was lack of equal give and take in the past as well. But what I like, as I said, sixes are all about healing. So it definitely seems here that your person, um, they're feeling very generous. You may definitely be receiving some gifts or some sentimental items here. Um, I see that you're working very hard to pay off any loans, any debts um, too. Um, but this is about equal give and take. It's about balancing the scales. So I'm, I'm definitely seeing here that someone is also financially responsible. Um, could be for child support, spousal support, or taking care of older parents. But this is a very generous card now where, you know, if there was an imbalance, now your person, I feel like you're both on the same page now. So this is looking really good. So I hope it stays this way. Um, what is the beating heart of your reading? Beautiful. Wow, you got a lot of um, Leo energy. You got the strength card. Another major for Leo. These two are ruled by Leo. So I'm seeing here at the moment, you know, strength is all about unconditional love, but also self-love. These two cards together are showing the return of health. So Aquarius, if your health or your person's health has not been good, it's been wavering, you know, it's been like up and down, up and down. It's been a roller coaster. We've got the return of health here as well, literally going from strength to strength. I see a person really taking care of their image. Like, you know, probably working out, losing weight. That one look really good for you. Because um, I, I kind of feel it's been some time as well for the majority of you since the last time you spoke to this person. But what I love is that the strength card is actually saying, hey, both of you do have literally the strength to overcome this um, with equal give and take here. This is definitely not going to be one-sided anymore. The High Priestess. Pisces energy. So definitely connecting here at a soul level. You do feel each other's energy. Definitely connect, you know, uh, connecting here on the other side or the 5D world, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely there. I do see here that your intuition is at an all time high. I feel now more than ever, Aquarius, you do feel your person's energy. And perhaps, you know, this is not truly over. This is actually far from over. I have to be brut brutally honest with you. Now, this is my quiet card. I say quiet card because you don't really have to do much, Aquarius. Your person is plucking up their courage and their strength here to face you because more secrets, good secrets. I don't see it's going to be any bad, but I will be clarifying these cards. Secrets, knowledge, information, important conversations that are all going to be revealed to you. Um, I'm seeing here that perhaps you're being quite secretive. You're keeping your emotions here to yourself. And it's more like a wait and see. You know, what is your person going to say? And then you will slowly reveal your emotions. King of Wands. Leo energy, again, could also be an Aries and a Sagittarius. So um, definitely this person is taking action. 
This is the go-getter. This is the leader. Um, excellent in sales, usually manager position as well, just like you as well, because I love that we're getting emperor and we're getting kings. We're getting very grown-up energy, um, just very mature energy now. This person's very, very, extremely passionate about you. They're finding you very, very attractive. They're not coming back just because of that. Obviously, you know, we the, the two of cups and the six of cups. There is a lot of love here. So now the scales are going to be very, very balanced. But this person, it's like double confirming to Aquarius that with the emperor and the king of wands, this person will be taking action towards you. You don't really have to do much. Um, I, I, it's almost like, even though we have a strong sense of destiny, they know they need to get up and move towards you. What else do we have here in the near future is justice, major arcana for Libra. So the truth will be revealed. So if there were any secrets here, if your person actually was being secretive in the past or keeping emotions to themselves, the justice is a very positive card, meaning yes, things will go your way. The scales will be balanced. More importantly though, um, the truth will always, always come out now. Um, now, for example, some of you may actually have been divorced from this person or your person. Um, if they were involved you know, with someone else, if they were committed to someone else here, I do see that perhaps it could be some legal issues, um, a formal separation, signing important documents, divorce here as well. But this is good. In the near future, your person is coming with the truth. Everything will be revealed. In the outcome here, what do we have for you? So this person's coming back with the truth, but what is the outcome for both of you? Wonderful. You got the four of wands. Look at this. Beautiful. This is my twin flame card as well. So this is a very intense, very deep connection. What I do love is it does spell, you know, reconciliation, that beautiful reunion It is about celebration coming together as well. For some of you, the majority perhaps were living with this person. You may move in together. If not, I do see discussions of moving in together um, pretty uh, pretty soon, to be honest. Um, I see this is going to be a very committed relationship where, in other words, you recommit to one another, but this time it is better than ever, and it has to be. Some of you may have started off as friends, or they may even say, let's start off as friends, because um, this is also the friendship card, but they're disguising it because, well, this person loves you, and I feel you feel the same way um, as well. So perhaps timing wasn't right in the past. We've got the Six of Pentacles again. Yeah, someone could be going through a separation or a divorce, and I feel like now they're ready. Yeah, see? Three of um, Cups, Cancer Energy, Reconciliation, with the issue also of the third party. Yeah, beautiful. Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment, more Pisces Energy. All right, let's start clarifying, please. Aquarius. Oh, all right. So from the get-go, we've already got a highlighted message there for you. Let's see. Let's dive a lot more deeper. This is looking amazing. I'm, I'm just getting, honestly, that there's another one, that the timing just was not right. There was something going on. There was something preventing both of you coming together. Not anymore. Destiny saying, this is it. This is the right time. So what does your person want with you? This is from their energy now. What is it when they come back? What do they want to say? Wow, judgment, Scorpio energy. They want another chance. This is clearly what they want and the world. <laughs> oh yeah, they want a new cycle with you. This is a beautiful, you've got two major arcanas and having the world is a very good omen of starting again. But this time, you know, on a beautiful brand new cycle, your person, you know, during this time apart, they've had huge wake up calls. They've had epiphanies. Um, that switch, you know, the light has finally gone on or off, you could say on <laughs> in their mind when they're realizing, well, everything does point to you. Happiness is with you and love is with you. Um, I feel like they're going to completely express their feelings. So when I say the truth is going to come out, it's definitely more about their intense emotions, their feelings for you. Um, there's definitely, you know, your person is wrapping up here, perhaps difficult cycles. Um, you know, that is a successful completion um, of cycles, of lessons, but now they do want here a brand new cycle with you. Some of you definitely could be at a distance um, as well. Yeah, see, we've got the Hierophant. Major, major there for Taurus. So this is my commitment. It's my marriage card. So I'm wondering if there was a third party. Was your person here committed to someone else? Were they married to someone else? There's, there is something here about timing where, you know, it could even have been just testing each other's loyalty and love. And now your person's thinking, yeah, no, I need to go back to um, Aquarius. But they are taking their sweet time. Look at that, the hanged man, Pisces energy. And this is about self-sacrifice, where your person knows that they must leave behind certain people, situation and events if they want all of these beautiful energies here with you. What else do we have? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, a brand new start. I feel here they're seeing you in a different perspective, in a brand new light as well. 
We've also got the Six of Swords and the Empress. Now we did have the Emperor and now we've got the Empress. So you are each other's perfect match. Um, and that Six of Swords is your energy moving into calmer waters. I love this. Mm. Wow. All right. So let's start. Let's get the back to the actual reading. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. What do we have? The Ten of Swords. More Gemini energy. So I have a feeling here, perhaps your person, because I'm getting a, uh, you know, usually when I get some cards like that, and it seems here that they're procrastinating coming forward, scared coming forward, it's because they have a guilty conscience about something. I always say that, because um, it, it's the longer it takes, the more afraid they get to approach you. So it seems here that even though it, it, it is, it's still a perfect match. We had a painful ending in the, in the, in the past as well, where perhaps Aquarius, you just felt kind of cheated. It's like, this is the right person. And it feels so right, but why is it so wrong at the same time? So that is about ending, loss, separation, divorce. We're, we're feeling quite cheated by everything. It's like, why did I even meet them? I wish I, I never met this person. Um, but yeah, your person's going through their own endings as well. They're going through their own painful endings. So do not worry, Aquarius. This, this whole mess, you could say, this whole mental mess is wrapping up now. It's never to be repeated again. I feel here that your person is coming back with really good intentions and by whatever way that you felt hurt by them, not excusing them, but they did not do it on purpose though. I just, honestly, they've never met anyone like you before. That's why, but let's continue. What about the sun? You got all the Gemini cards. So we've got the nine of swords, uh, Gemini energy. Look how your person now, you know, this is falling into depression, loneliness, anxiety, all that nervous energy because you are their happiness. Regret that they didn't see this through. Regret that they didn't stick around. Regret that they didn't fight for you. And now they're not happy because, you know, the, the, the Nine of Swords shows no happiness. But we do have the sun underneath. They're not happy um, without you. The fact that you are not in their life, are they happy? Absolutely not. Um, which is why we have so much reconciliation cards. Even um, the judgment card is saying, hey, can we have a second chance? There is unfinished business here between us. And I'm not getting like full on animosity. Like I'm not getting that there's hate here or you know, any bad arguments yet. But um, I just kind of see that your hearts go back to each other. They keep going back to each other. Let's talk about your energy, the King of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Sag energy. So yeah, at the moment, I, I'm seeing that you're very tired. You know, even with their return, as much as your heart is saying yes, your mind is saying, oh, hang on a second. So you're a little bit apprehensive here. You know, your person here is all up in their head, but here it's almost like you're feeling a bit apprehensive, a bit guarded. It's like, oh, is this too good to be true? Do I even trust this truth here as well? So I feel here that, yes, there are some mysteries and secrets with the high priestess and you will find out more. So there is definitely more than meets the eye. So if, for example, if your person said, I can't be with you because of this, this and this, um, they're coming back to tell you, well, it was because of this and this and this, which you didn't know about. So I do see you just being oh, a little bit apprehensive. Um, I would welcome the truth because it will clear away a lot of assumptions here or uncertainty. There could have also been a lot of gossip um, around this um, connection, especially if there was a third party involved. Let's clarify that Six of Pentacles. They're feeling very generous here. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So they're seeing you as someone very accomplished, very independent, resourceful business owner or thinking of becoming a business owner that is the minor arcana of the empress showing to me that you are on the right path i am seeing here that perhaps even your person now is becoming 100 percent single um independent they're fighting their foot you're know, feeling a lot more grounded here and what i do love is that even though we have two souls merging into one with that two of cups together you are both still independent enjoy each other's company i'm getting a lot more mature energy um, from both of you so I'm, I'm kind of liking this clarifying the strength card Ooh, you got the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is indeed the fastest knight. Out of all the four knights, this is the fastest one. They cannot get to you fast enough. They're hyping themselves up here. You know, they're kind of giving themselves pep talk um, with the um, with the strength card saying, I've got to go now. I've got to charge in. I've got to tell Aquarius the absolute truth. I'm just really picking up this person misses you. They're kind of wallowing here, feeling very lonely. They don't, they're not even interested in anyone else. Um, they're just coming straight towards you and they're crossing their fingers. I feel like they're being very hopeful here that you are going to say yes to them as well. So let's clarify the high priestess, the two of wands, Aries energy. 
Again, your person, yeah, they could be at a distance or at least they're feeling emotional distance. This is all about extending the olive branch first. Aquarius, I have a feeling that a lot of you intuitively feel that because this is not over and I don't see you reaching out, you may have been tempted, um, but I do see that you know that your person is going to reach out first. They're going to be stepping into the unknown. They've made their choice now because they're holding on to one wand. This is their choice and they're going to stick by it. Um, so uh, what I love is that this also means, you know, like new job, new house, new partnerships, but also the chance here with new love again with this person. Let's clarify the King of Wands. Oh, beautiful. Look what they're coming back for. A brand new start. Yep. And what I love is that you got the um, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, the absolute true cards of love here, falling in love all over again, starting on a beautiful clean slate. That's why they're rushing towards you um, and they're going to take leadership of this. This actually very well may surprise you about how determined they are um, to succeed with you, not in an egotistical way, but they really want to win your heart back. I'm just getting a lot of missing energy. It's quite heavy. Let's clarify the Justice card, Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is the giver of very good news. They're finding creative ways to approach you um, as well, but I'm seeing very, very good news here. In fact, you may receive news here. If your person is separated or divorced, um, you may perceive that as good news because they're kind of already identifying themselves as 100% single too. Um, but yeah, we're getting good news here how they want a, um, a new start with you and the good news here that they're coming in to say the truth um, because the justice is also my apology card. Um, and it's also about balancing the scales, making up for lost time, lost love, making you feel special again. Let's clarify the four of wands, the knight of wands, my call to action card. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're, they're coming towards you with the truth, with love, with passion here. This is actually very remarkable. Um, and I feel like this person knows now that they cannot be in and out of your life. Not at all. So yeah, also, I'm wondering though, your person here may have a bit of a hot head. <laughs> um, when I say hot head, okay, so what does that mean? Um, a bit of a, a temper, very passionate here about what they love, about what they believe in. Mm, they're coming in very passionate. Now, the Knight of Wands is often known as Mr. and Mrs., right? You know, the knight in shining armor here as well. I just see that you're just going to take your time. I feel like you want to hear them out. So I'm curious. I, when I want to go a lot more deeper into the messages, We've got the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands. What's this going to lead to? I'm curious. So sometimes I get a bit nervous because we don't know the outcome, but let's let's get into it. What is it? Oh, wow. Well, we cannot deny Two of Cups. Now you got it twice. So definitely the unity of two beautiful souls merging together as one. We've got the Two of Cups twice. You're definitely mirroring each other here, Aquarius. I'm seeing a beautiful, happy outcome. Um, yes, it's going to... Well, when I say take time... Um, I wouldn't rush into this. A Knight of Swords always says, don't be impulsive. Your person may be reaching out to you quite impulsively. It's like they just cannot stand to be in this energy anymore. Um, but yeah, no, it's actually looking pretty good, Aquarius. So I, I'm going to, as in time, time frame here, I'm definitely going to say, let's just be safe. I'll say within three months, but I'm definitely seeing it within two months for the majority of you. So definitely expect a message from your person. And they're coming in with very boss-like energy. They want to take over and they're going to get straight to the point of what they want with you, what they want to reestablish with you. We end with very beautiful cards, Aquarius, and I'm very happy for you. Um, so this is not over. The chance for healing is big as well. So I will leave this here, Aquarius. I thank you for joining me. I do always appreciate your time. I will see you in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, I'm sending you much love, Aquarius. Please take care. Bye.